<laughs> Today's going to be my new Funko Pop releases of June 2021. Now, a lot of you guys are going to remember this one as being like the top 10 Funko Pop picks of this month. And, and I changed that this month. I wanted, I wanted, I actually changed it last month, but I, I'm, I'm officially changing it this month to just the, the, the new Funko Pop releases of june 2021 and the reason i'm doing this is because i want to go over a few different things other than just funko right because not just funko but other than funko pops right i mean so it's going to be the top release funko products basically of june 20 2021 what's what a, what a tongue twister that must be right so I want to go over this, and I'm gonna, and and I didn't want to limit myself to being in a top ten, right? I mean, so so I'm gonna start off at number eleven. Number eleven is going to be the ten inch Maleficent dragon from Disney. This is part of the Disney villains. You know, they're coming out with a lot of this stuff. They're doubling, quadrupling, just all kinds of downs on the Disney stuff here lately. But I have kind of really been into the villain stuff. I'm not even going to try and bullshit you. I've, I have been into the villain stuff quite a lot. And this 10 inch had to come in at number 11 because there is a strong number 10 like right in front of this one so number 10 there is there is an extremely strong number 10 coming in behind all of this and number 10 is going to be the diamond series elvira now elvira had to make it to the list because i don't currently have an elvira in my collection and i had been wanting an elvira for some time and it seems like every time an elvira ever comes up for sale i always manage to miss the elvira so i did not miss this diamond edition elvira and if you're looking to add a little value to your collection, it seems like the Diamond Series stuff always goes up in value. It's never like extraordinarily high up in value, but it, it tends to always double in value over time. This is one of them that you're going to have to sit on for a minute, but it seems like the Diamond Series stuff always does that i mean so if that's if you're wanting to add a little value to the collection that's a good way to do it is just kind of to to go by the diamond stuff i mean it's it's always a good rule of thumb always a good rule of thumb to do that so number 10 is elvira coming in at number nine number nine is going to be and i'm going to find her on the screen that way i can look at her while i'm talking about her with you <laughs> let's see that i'm going to talk about her let's see if i can find her <laughs> Let's see. It's gotta be here somewhere. Gotta be. Number ten is number nine is going to be Emily. Now this is another one that's in the Diamond series, and like I was saying just a second ago, if you're into the Diamond series, it, look, they're they're always a they're always good to bet on going up in value. I mean for sure, always 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 good to bet on when going up in value. Now on this list i'm trying to be a lot less biased than i have been in the past i've had some advice that said hey hey wayne trying to be a little less biased than you've been in the past so, so in this list i am strictly going after stuff that i believe is going to be super hot that is going to sell out really fast and is going to go up in value now whether that value is five dollars or five hundred dollars i can't personally predict that i can only tell you that that i can give you my my opinion over time as to what i've seen and how that they're going to react to the market and how i think that they're going to react to the market number eight is going to be daryl with dog from the walking dead all of the Walking Dead stuff seems to go up in value really well. I mean, it always has. It always seems like that's what it does. Now, this one is going to be, you're only going to be able to get it on the Walking Dead's website. I didn't even really know that they had a website. Never really been into that movie. But that is going to be number eight. Number seven, I believe, is a really strong number seven. I mean, this one this one is such a strong number seven that, that I put it on the list, even though I am not a Nightmare Before Christmas fan. Number seven is going to be the... Mayor Chase variant. Now this one is a Hot Topic exclusive. It seems like Hot Topic here lately is really grabbing these Chase variances and this is going to be a strong one. I mean Nightmare Before Christmas has a huge monstrous following so if this is one of them that you're going to have to go after I suggest that you go to their Instagram and go to your local Hot Topics Instagram. Each one of them has a different Instagram. So go to your local Hot Topics Instagram and they tend to throw on the Instagram the day before, the day that they're opening that this pop's going to be releasing and it's in stores and this is the day and the time that you can come get it in the event that you want to have a chance to get the chase a lot like the Red Hulk that I that I missed. <laughs> Number six. 
Number six, five, and four are all in the same line, but number six is going to be Count Chocula. Count Chocula is part of the Serial Series. Now, these are going to be some Funko Shop exclusives. Funko Shop has really been like holding on to exclusives lately, something serious. I think right now they probably got about 20 exclusives that have yet to hit their site that I know at some point will hit their site, but they are really far behind at this moment as to what they have going on their site. But Count Chocula is going to be at number six. Number five is going to be Frankenberry. Frankenberry is another like strong number five, guys. I mean, that, that one is going to be a strong five, hands down. I mean, Frankenberry, and these are these cereal boxes, so they're, they're this new kind of ad icon that they've been doing. Extremely, extremely awesome. Now, number four is a pop that always tends to get past me and that I have not managed to get my hands on yet. This is not quite the same pop, but this is going to be Boo Berry in the cereal box line. This is also a Funko Shop exclusive. Look, all three of these I am convinced will go up in value, especially that Boo Berry. So if you're just wanting to grab one of them to, to see if how it's going to fluctuate in the market and if you're going to like get any return off of it, Boo Berry is the one that you are definitely going to want to get your hands on. Number three. Now, number three is going to be the Day of the Dead Batman. Now, this one's going to be the Glow in the Dark Hot Topic exclusive. Now, listen to what I said a minute ago. Hot Topic seems to be getting some really fire stuff in here lately. I mean, just, just really fire stuff has been going to Hot Topic. And I say here lately, that's kind of always like the, the, what goes on with Hot Topic. They always tend to get some really fire stuff at Hot Topic. Number two is going to be the Chase variant, the one that I just recently missed red hulk the red hulk is hands down absolutely fire and that chase variant with that glow uh it, it look we almost need to take a moment of silence for that <laughs> coming in at number one is going to be another chase variant now this chase variant i have a strong feeling is going to go through the roof super fast it's a it's a common chase variant so it means on basically every website on the internet you can go pick this guy up right now play some chase roulette with it like i'm going to be doing is going to be ash bloody variant now the ash bloody variant is the chase variant and he is currently for sale everywhere i mean so so if you don't have that one you should definitely be going to check that one out now the reason i wanted to call this one the top releases of june 2021 versus the top 10 funko pop picks of june 2021 is because i want to talk about some other products that funko has going on so funko has just released some new products and anytime they start releasing a lot of new products i start to get super concerned about the products that they're releasing one of them is this I'm not really concerned. I start to get concerned that everything else is going to to get diluted just a little bit, right? I mean, I, my fear is that they'll they'll lose sight of some of their other already existing products to focus more heavily on these products that that I'm not so sure are going to be real successful. One of them is this game thing right here that's a lot like the Funko albums, even though the Funko albums are still struggling really hard in like fixing their box problem. And when I say really hard, I'm going to do all 10 of them coming up here at some point and I'm going to show you the separation in the box versus the display absolutely crazy on like the separation you're getting on some of these guys but that game I just don't see that one going over that well I'm look I don't really know if that's how it's going to go over but I don't see it going over that well and then the watches that they just come out with are some of them that I honestly want I think that these watches are going to be fire i think they're going to hit the market like fire i think everybody's going to want them i don't currently plan on wearing them i would like maybe to get a nice watch display and put them on maybe in front of the the box of cereals that they match because they are currently matching the boxes of cereals that i went over that were list four there were six five five six five and four right i mean so so they match all of those cereal boxes and then we got these crazy mask things that they just released today. So they're they're starting off with uh, Jack Skeleton. We have Jack Skeleton, Sally Skeleton, Harley Quinn, Puff Stay Puff Guy, Pennywise, and both versions of Batman. So you have the retro Batman, and then you, then you have the the new age Batman. Um, these guys are. 
they remind me a lot of some creepy purge movie, right? So when you see somebody wearing these in the pictures they've been displaying, it looks really awkward. It looks nothing like a Funko. I mean, you would expect that when somebody put this on that they would have resembled a Funko product, but that's not the case. They resemble some creepy purge guy that's probably going to come take you out in the middle of the night. It's super, super weird how they look. Um, I don't know if they're going to be a super hot item. I think that they're going to be made at it. It depends on how they're going to be made. If they're made in some real nice plastic, maybe, because I can see me getting my hands on the Batmans to display them on the walls. Not, not actually wear them, but to have a big version of a, of a display on the wall. I could see me doing that. I cannot see me ever putting this on and walking around in it because I would feel like it was some creepy purge themed thing going on. I Look, I don't know. You'll have to throw a comment down below and tell me exactly what you think and how you feel about these guys. And if I missed anything on this list that should have been on this list, I totally expect you to throw a comment down below and tell me, hey Wayne, you missed it. <laughs> maybe maybe don't be so aggressive about it. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. There is no Wayne Co. crew without you, and I, I truly appreciate you watching. Until next time, have a good one.
Hey, what's going on, guys? So, today is going to be my top. Today is going to be the top release Funko Pops. How did I have this worded? <laughs> I got to go look and see how I had this worded real quick. How did I have this one worded? What, what was this? How was this one worded? Today is going to be the... The day is going to be something for sure. I, I'm sure. <laughs> new Funko Pop. New Funko Pop release 